But why will you confess that I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the fountain of the water of life freely given to you who test? But within your heart, I am not Lord and first in your life. I have been waiting for you to take up your own cross and follow after me. Believing in me Conforming to the exact image of my son, Jesus Christ. So that you can enter the new. All because you refuse to first sit down and calculate the cost of finishing the task I entrusted to you. Haven't I got the provision to give you enough finishing anointing? I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. I encourage you to trust me and have faith in my word after the order of Genesis chapter 22 verse 14. Behold, my season have ended. For that particular assignment I entrusted you with. How come procrastination is costing you to finish? Do you want to control the new from the last season? Until you let go the old, you can't enter into the new. Why should you keep postponing your destiny? Know that I am God, the Alpha and Omega. I know the end from the beginning and knows everything about you. If I, your God, so cares for the birds of the sky and the flowers of the field, tell me, will I not also care for you? Will you wonder and trust me to care about the details of your life or will you worry? Replace worry with wonder and you see my abundant provision and care in your life. I am working all things For your good. For I have good plans to prosper your life. Cast away the fear of death. And sorrow in your life. Why will you be acquainted. With sorrow. And anxiety. I am the one who have ordained the day I will put you in the earth realm after your fruitful service in my kingdom on this earth. I have already positioned you of what you are supposed to do in the next season. 
Therefore I say to you, hold on to my banner of hope. For my grace is sufficient for you. Again, I say to you, stand firm and keep believing for my grace is sufficient for you. By my design, I, the Lord, have inscripted my signature on your destiny. Therefore, hope in me. Knowing that my word in you is the hope of glory. Thus says the spirit of the times and seasons of the Lord God.